And look, uh, Charlotte, there were lots of fascinating pieces of information that you revealed over the weekend, including the fact, I couldn't believe this, that Harry now just has six friends uh, in the United Kingdom. <laughs> wow. Uh, but what's going on with Harry and Eugenie? Because I thought she was his only ally left in the royal family. And you're suggesting that even that relationship is now strained. The thing is about Eugenie is that she's very loyal to Harry, but there's no one she's more loyal to than her own mother. Those girls, her and her sister, adore their mother. And Fergie has been doing a round of interviews to promote her new book recently, in which she lightly touched on the subject of Meghan very carefully, said nothing that controversial, but what I'm hearing is that, of course, Meghan and Harry have taken great offence. It's all very awkward. Uh, and, and so that has caused tensions with Eugenie, is what I'm hearing. And I I'm sure they'll put on a brave face. But, you know, he has lost the person that probably was most likely to give him a big hug on the day. Probably might be more of a sort of nod and smile rather than a big hug. And Charlotte, another fascinating piece of information which you have revealed is that King Charles is probably not going to toast Harry, Meghan and uh, his grandson Archie at the lunch, the post-procession coronation lunch. Uh, what are you hearing about that and why would he have made that decision? Well, there's no there's no need for him to because nobody's going to be there. They're laying a place, apparently, for Harry just in case he stays, but nobody's expecting him to. So why would he raise a toast when, you know, his grandson isn't there? No member of the Sussex family will be there. And the reason it came up in the first place is because they wanted some sort of... Meghan and Harry wanted some sort of recognition for Archie on the day because it's his birthday. And I don't think it, it would have crossed his mind to raise a toast to Archie, but he, he wanted to appease them. So apparently it was being discussed as a possibility. But now there's no need because nobody's going to be at the lunch. Because Harry's basically going to fly in, uh, go to the service and then immediately get on the plane. I mean, how sad. Re Rebecca Toomey, look, I know you support Harry and Meghan, but... Surely you're a little bit tired, even you. Surely you're a little bit tired of this nonsense now. Aren't you sick of you their what, victim shtick? Do you know what, Dan? I'm a bit tired of the constant pantomime around it and the constant bullying. And what you, I think you'll find interesting is initially I wasn't sure about Meghan. There was a big period of time where I didn't like the way she was treating, you know, the royal family and us Brits. Brit. But actually this relentless attack on them is, is getting quite boring and the, the surge in negativity everybody's jumping on this bandwagon and really from my perspective from a more entertainment background is that we always need a female figure in the royal family to dislike we've had Fergie we've had Camilla Parker Bowles even going back to Wallace Simpson and now we just want someone to dislike and someone to put all our anger and hatred and everything we feel that we're angry about onto one young attractive woman and it just happens to be Megan and whether she does come to the coronation and now she's not, we're still going to attack her. We're still going to constantly say she's doing the wrong thing. Really, they can't win these two. And that's what I think is getting exhausting. Oh, well, look, Cara Kennedy, I want you to have an opportunity to respond to that because I think that's an intellectually dishonest answer with all due respect, Rebecca Toomey, because we actually wanted to spend seven months grieving the late queen and preparing for the coronation of King Charles III. What have we had to put up with as royalists, as British citizens? We have had to put up with a constant string of grenades thrown at the royal family by Harry and Meghan. First, Cara, we got the, the Netflix show where they slagged off the late queen's life work in the Commonwealth. And then we got Spare. And you know what happened in Spare. So actually, it's Harry and Meghan who are responsible for all of the negativity these past seven months. All they needed to do was stop their plans, focus on the king, and we would have stopped talking about them. Of course. These, the, this pair are absolute master manipulators. Absolute master manipulators. Nobody has wanted to defend them more than me. I was so pro Megan at the start. I thought, wow, this is going to be an excellent opportunity for the, the royal family to modernise. God knows that they have to. Um, to survive. I thought this was going to be great. I remember watching the wedding. I was a waitress at the time and crying my eyes out. I was so happy. But it's very hard to defend the undefendable. I mean, the, right. uh, one thing after another, everything has been a total attack. Everything has been totally planned out. I yeah. mean, yeah, exactly. They, they, You're a Mia Farrow. 
You lost faith. You lost faith in them. Uh, Charlotte, just one final question to you. Uh, so you're hearing that Harry's plans for Coronation Day would actually allow him uh, to be with Archie celebrating his fourth birthday by the end of the day? I think it's not ruled out that he might make use of a private jet on the way back. Because he loves them, yeah. <laughs> he loves those. I don't know whether he'll use one on the way there, though. I, I think he's trying to you know, do at least one leg in the eco way. But on the way back, it is possible for him to leave the coronation if it finishes on time, go to Luton, get on a Cessna private jet and make it back just in time to kiss Archie goodnight, oh, should yeah. he wish to. But and if, just you know, think also, of all of the carbon uh, he will be guzzling while telling us, by the way, that we shouldn't fly. Us mere mortals shouldn't fly. But you get on your private jet, Harry, to be back for Archie's birthday. Oh, my goodness. You couldn't Let's make it up with these two. The well, indeed. But look. 